Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Kill back with another video. Today I'm just going to show you guys how to make simple chord progressions easily in Logic without a MIDI controller. So uh, basically the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a new MIDI region. And you're going to drag this over four bars. Alright. Then you're going to double click it. Make sure it's up. Alright, mine's already up. Alright, then you're going to go over here to the note value. We're going to do half notes, so that's already set. This right here is scale quantize, and what this means is that whatever key you set it in, or scale, it'll make sure that you can only place those notes when using your brush tool. So it keeps you in key. So if you're a producer out there and you don't know music theory or you don't feel like thinking about music theory while you're making a beat, you can go ahead and set your scale. We're just gonna keep it simple and stay in C major and just hit the Q for the quantize. So we're going to be about at C2. And I'm going to go ahead and get my brush tool. Just click in one note. And a trick about chords in any DAW you're using, this doesn't even just apply to logic, but if you count up three or four intervals before you place a note, you'll get a major or a minor chord. So if I go one, two, three, four, and then I go one, two, three, See what I'm saying? So if I do one, two, well, if I start here and I do one, two, three, and I do one, two, three, four, I have a D minor. So for major chords, you're gonna go one, two, three, four. You're gonna count up four, and then you're gonna count up three. For minor chords, you're gonna count up three, and then you're gonna count up four. And it's just any major or minor chord you want to create, whether it be B major, C major, D major, A major, it's going to be the same concept for all of them. So when you're making your chord progressions, literally all you have to do is count. If you know how to count, you can make chord progressions in Logic Pro. So we're going to build a little basic, you know, uh, chord progression. I'm not going to get crazy with it. So I got two chords right there. And if you like those two chords and you only wanted those, then you could use those, but I'm gonna add a couple more. That's how that sounds. Alright, so I'm just gonna loop that really basic chord progression. Like I said, I'm just showing you guys the technique, you know what I'm saying? So even if you wanted to, you know, add more to it and get more complex chords, you just continue doing the same thing. So you can see how that sounds. It sounds more complex. And that's a C major seven. So you know, major seven chords are usually like in jazz and stuff, in R and B. But I love the way major seven chords sound. So uh, the first chord progression I was playing before, I added that note of major major seven, which is basic major and minor chords. And those are just triads with just three notes. So if you want to go ahead and make your chord progressions a little more. See, it makes the chords sound a little more complex. These are all major. So that's basically it guys, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just just count them up and you'll have a chord progression and you can, you know, jazz it up and change things, uh, you know, change things around and just experiment with the sound of it to really get the chord progression you want. And if you don't know any music theory and you hear some good chords that you draw in using this method and you don't know what they are, literally all you have to do is Get your pointer tool, highlight all the notes, and look over here, and it'll tell you C major 7 or C minor 7 or whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever the chord may be, it'll tell you exactly what that chord is. That's E minor, it's a D minor, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to tell you exactly what it is, and uh, 
So if you're ever having trouble doing chord progressions, this is just an easy way to get started with a simple chord progression. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you know what I'm saying, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And uh, if you have any more tutorial ideas or video ideas that you want me to do, just let me know. I'll get right back to you.